Hello and let's talk about the Geoverse. We are of course referring to Mukesh Ambani's grand plans for the expansion of Reliance Geo that he announced at the company's annual general body meeting earlier this week. It's clear that the company which began with the polyester business and moved on to petrochemicals is now fully committed to data. From 5G and phones to Geomart and Geoglass, Reliance is set to ensure that it's in every aspect of our life. We'll talk a bit about more of this but here are some details. One of the most important bits of news to come out of the meeting was that Google will pick up a 7.7% stake in the Geo platform by investing over 33,700 crore rupees. Another internet giant, Facebook, already has a 9.9% stake. In the past few months, Reliance has reportedly raised Rs. 152,056 crore. That's 152,056 crore. So how is Mukesh Ambani planning to spend this money? There's a host of new projects, including Geoglass, which is a mixed reality headset, which will give the option of holographic calling, according to CNBC. There's GeoTV Plus, which will bring together Netflix, Hotstar, Amazon Prime, and other streaming services. But one of the more important initiatives is Geomart, which is set to expand, set to expand massively in the retail sector and bring in Kirana stores into its platform. The other key initiative is its own 5G platform, which will be rolled out soon. So what does this bouquet of products from the House of Ambani mean for India and the Indians? We talked to journalist Anindya Chakravarti to find out. Thank you, Anindya, for joining us. So obviously in the media, there's been a lot of speculation over the fluctuating wealth of Mukesh Ambani. There's a lot of yes. drama over the fifth, uh, six riches, seventh riches, eighth riches. But the yeah. more important thing after the AGM has been the fact that this marks a very key, at least many of the announcements mark key moments in the expansion. We've already heard a lot of news about this before, about Geomart, about yeah. the entry into the realm of 5G, and about the idea of sort of building maybe a universe of Geo, so to speak, where almost in every yes. aspect of life, some something of Geo is really involved. So yeah. at a macro level, how do you sort of see what is happening with the kind of investments Reliance has making? I think uh, that uh, one of the things that Mukesh Ambani himself had announced at, uh, when he had launched Geo was to say that uh, data is the oil of the future. Mm. And we know that his father was uh, uh, very great at identifying what was the oil of the previous century, which is oil itself, right? So, <laughs> and did a great job in dealing with which he called the most important external environment for any company, which is the government of India. He was great at dealing with the government of India. And uh, after becoming this massive behemoth, which uh, I think provides more than 5% of the government's gross tax revenues, um, you know, it, is, it has massive influence. And we can see in how government policy seems to dovetail with everything that Geo wants to do. Right. Uh, now, uh, I think the question is, which way are we heading in terms of... Uh, governance itself you know uh, we have seen historically what happens when you give people things for uh, free or cheap and uh, when geo came in it gave you the ability to make phone calls almost for free and uh, data was extremely cheap it was uh, uh, it was a very very cheap package which almost everyone utilized whether you were uh, very poor or you were reasonably well to do um, the Quality of the service appears to have improved over time and it's now charging whatever others are charging. However, it is still relatively cheap. The question is, can it actually charge you money uh, and make a profit on it? My belief is that you cannot make money on data. I don't think anyone makes money on data. What they make money on by providing data from consumers, right? So if you look at Google or Facebook, they make money on advertising. They... Uh, target advertising to uh, people and this is a very murky zone we know about it. the ethical aspects of it have been discussed uh, quite uh, in detail the question is what it does in terms of power yeah. now if you look at it uh, um, uh, Prashant one of the things that uh, uh, what is the basic model ultimately how do you make money from this if you look at something like Amazon it hardly makes any money from what it is famous for, which is uh, delivering goods uh, to your home. It doesn't make any money on it across the world, right? right? You could say that it doesn't make any money on it across the world because it is investing more and more in this. Yes, that's true, probably true. 
but its main business is actually what is uh, Amazon Web Services, A A AWS, which is uh, the cloud services it provides, which subsidizes the con uh, rest of the world. But it knows that its interface with the consumer is actually always through this Amazon uh, delivery system. Now, uh, the question is, how do you make money? Ultimately, the only way Mark, to make money is to get government contracts. So how do you get government contracts? If you look at it, in the future, everything will have its own IP, right, Prashant? In the sense that you have a fridge, right? Today, of course, high-end fridges might have that, but uh, soon, uh, we know every cheap item today has a microchip, which right. we wouldn't have thought of 20 years ago, right? right. Uh, similarly, everything will have some embedded uh, IP, uh, something which can transmit its... Uh, through its Internet, of, Internet of Things, basically. Yeah, absolutely. So whether it's a fridge, whether it's a car, now what will happen? Suppose you have a, a car has its own IP, right? and uh, cars are flowing on the road. Traffic lights can regulate movement of cars, right? Based on the flow of cars that it can see. So it sees an IP, an artificial intelligence traffic light, looks at a car's IP and says, okay, this car goes to these four places at this time, or goes to only this one place. We can, the red, red light can actually come on right now, or we can see that this is the flow one kilometer away where it's going to go. So therefore we can adjust the right. timing of the red light. Who's going to pay for it? You and I can't, right? The more there is artificial intelligence, the less you and I are going to be able to pay for it <laughs> because we won't have work as we are seeing that people will be replaced by machines. So there'll be uh, lower income. Right. Governments will have to pay for it. So ultimately it's a game of government contract. All of this is ultimately a game of taking taxpayers money or uh, whatever fiscal spending governments do and getting money from that. Because you subsidize uh, the consumer, you create a base, you create a brand and governments then give you the contracts because you are, op everyone's operating on a geo platform. So ultimately the game is to be, get everything on our, a geo platform. So everything that is bought and sold, once it becomes an internet of things, once it becomes everything is an IP, your fridge can decide uh, what to order right? Then that is where your entire life is being controlled by data, which is controlled by someone else. I know there's a lot of pious posturing by everyone saying, no, corporates, even Mukesh Umbani has said that corporates should not own data, right? Data is a national asset. It's national property. It's a people's property. Therefore, foreigners shouldn't have access to data. The question is that with Facebook, uh, Today, I think the U, U, uh, American companies own about 26% of Geo, right? Uh, out of which about 17 and a half percent is owned by Facebook and Google. There was talk that uh, uh, Microsoft might pick up two and a half percent of uh, Google. Towards the end of May, we saw these reports coming, which are, sorry, of Geo, but it didn't Sanjay. happen. Yeah, but uh, Geo has, uh, I think 0.4% stake is held by Intel Capital. So if you look at it, uh, five or six uh, um, data and internet companies, uh, hardware companies included, are either present inside Geo or have deals with Geo. So for instance, Microsoft uh, has a deal with Geo. Uh, so uh, if you look at it over a period of time, there is the presence of some of the biggest internet players in the world. Uh, Google and Facebook are out there. WhatsApp is uh, now, uh, I mean, the relationship with Geo is essentially why WhatsApp. So this is the data part. And then there are worries about what happens when Geo kind of controls the retail space. There's also, I think you, you were earlier mentioning, there's this whole angle of uh, this being portrayed as part of uh, Make in India or the Atmanir yeah. aspect. So do you yeah. see any credence in that? You know, there is, of course, I mean, if you have money, what stops you from it? The reason why you can't make in India is because the government isn't spending in creating assets. So uh, uh, Indian companies are, spend, are saving their money, they're buying back shares, or they're raising money abroad and were buying companies outside. I mean, if uh, the Tatas could go outside and buy these big companies, whether it was... Uh, 
you know, the steel uh, companies or whether it was uh, Jaguar Land Rover, there was no reason why it couldn't have invested in India. So the whole idea that we don't have capital is only partially true. So Reliance has huge amounts of capital. What's stopping it from investing in, like it's doing something like a Google Glass, I understand, right? Where it's in a glass interface which you can use Right. Uh, to a 3D virtual reality glass. So, yes, there is a certain degree of make in India. But we, we saw that controversy about how it kind of replicates the Zoom um, hmm. uh, uh, interface completely. Uh, there was a... What was... Um, I can't exactly remember who were the people doing it, so I won't quote them. Uh, there were bureaucrats, government bureaucrats, uh, former uh, bureaucrats who were... Pro kind of saying that uh, Zoom, uh, Geo interface is so brilliant. This Geo conference uh, thing Geo is so meet. much better. Geo meet is so much better than Zoom. It is so clean. And this is all part of uh, Make in India. This is great. This is Make in India. And this is Atmanirbhar. Right? So yes, uh, uh, it dovetails beautifully uh, with the entire uh, point of Atmanirbhar. Maybe Atmanirbhar uh, is, a, is, you know, a prequel to <laughs> uh, big business controlling a lot of uh, the stuff that uh, where there was a certain amount of competition. So uh, I think that uh, one thing that the people are joking is that in the ease of doing business for foreign companies, there should be one additional column put in by the government over there, which is partnership with Geo. Right? It's very easy to <laughs> get right. into a deal right. with Geo. That's right. the easiest thing right. to do because I think Geo has raised, uh, in terms of FDI, close to twenty billion dollars. Twenty billion dollars, right? yes. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, 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 our FDI itself is about ten billion dollars, um, and that is nearly half of what has been put into this country from the U.S. U.S. FDI is close to ten billion dollars, and uh, uh, if you look at it, the U.S. has put in about twenty odd billion dollars, uh, twenty twenty one billion dollars in FDI since. 2000 to 2020, and half of that has gone to Geo right now. In the 20 year period, half of that Absolutely. is Geo. So you can right. see what, uh, and I want us to read between the lines. And uh, finally, uh, a quick word on the issue of retail. Now, Geo's, um, uh, Geo's uh, model is apparently to bring Kirana stores on the same platform, on a single platform. And basically, you can use WhatsApp and you can use the Geo platform to order from your local uh, store, right? Uh, and suppose you live in one block in a residential zone and your local guy doesn't have it, maybe two kilometers away or a kilometer away, another Kirana store has it. So all of them are being brought on a platform. Now the question is, how much will Geo take as a cut? How much will Geo subsidize initially? We've seen what uh, initial subsidies and in investments can, can create havoc in models of uh, like we see in Uber and Ola, right? Um, so what will it do initially? How will it compete? What competition will do to Kirana's local Kirana store? Because even in uh, you know residential areas in uh, metros, and maybe it must be true about uh, smaller towns as well, uh, there are some stores which are very small. They sell eggs and bread and some basic provisions. And then there are larger ones, right? right? Who do the same thing, but something more. So the question is, is it going to kill that eggs and bread guy? So that is, that is the worry that one has to Absolutely. look at when this consolidation takes place. Because it has happened across the world. Of course, right. there's a new model. We don't know how it's going to work. But there is no reason for the laws of economics to not work there. Absolutely. Thank you, Arindya, for talking to us. Thanks a lot, Prashant. That's all we have time for today. We'll be back on Monday with major news developments from the country. Until then, keep watching NewsClick.